part of the elite and sideways Boys in the days I've been drinking vodka for about three hours straight Writing for this tape up, working hella late So you can hear the difference in the music that I make Now listen to the difference yeah, yeah, yeah. Now listen to the difference yeah, yeah, yeah. Now listen to the difference yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I've been working all night so you can listen to the difference Yeah I never say that I'm harder than most Like I ain't afraid to die and become a ghost never been... So when I record this and I tell everybody that this is all hypothetical We just BSing We love everyone and we're never going to want to disappoint or disrespect So as we have our fun and spit our propaganda Please don't take us serious This is all satire we just out here having fun, man. Enjoy the show. This is Listen to the Difference. We love you. Like, have- subscribe. And Marty, tell your wife to shut up. Never mind. Excuse me. Let's man. get into it. Who, who is you talking to? Get out. He said take the mic and shut up. He said Bro. he's playing. No, I, I'm playing never said it. I never said it. Never said it. I was just going to ask, why y'all don't got no theme music? We do. You know, like, we do got theme music. We do well, got I theme music. Play, you know how, like, Joe Bun got dun 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 Why y'all don't go, play that? Go, hey, this, go. This is, this is hey, going. play, oh, hey, no, play E40, Captain. I'm I'm gonna hear it out. This is this is proof that my wife does not listen to my podcast. <laughs> right. Because... Well, it's, it's, also, it's also a fact that your shit. Hey, right, we got a dope ass theme song mean. there, vibe right with the whole theme and right, everything. There you go, right there. It's proof. All right. We got oh, we got Ty Young. What's the difference? I'm more famous than you. Okay, okay. That's why I will not be here no more. Well, you speak a Come on. So. So, <laughs> so, right, right now, right now. So the first topic I want to ask, we you know we was kind of brainstorming before we went live, and um, so the terminology, you know, when people say that eighties baby, seven baby, nineties yeah, baby, whatnot, I'm gonna ask y'all when folks say that. Personally, do y'all say that when you say you're an 80s baby, you're you saying that you was born in the 80s or you're saying you was a kid in the 80s and you was and you was coming up? That was your era when you was playing. Because I was I was born in 1980. So so would you consider so you consider yourself an 80s baby? No, I I kind of feel like I kind of feel like I fell off in the 79s. I just got through right. into some shit. <laughs> okay. You wasn't built for it. You was still I'm not no 80s baby. Game. I'm not an 80s baby to the point when niggas like 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. Nigga, I was born in 1980. I'm a fall off of 79. Okay, so so you would so you would say the 80s raised you then. You would say you was old enough to remember the 80s. Oh, absolutely. I was the whole 80s. Okay, so 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 you were I became 80. a teenager. I was a kid, I was I was 14 in 94. So so that being said, you was an 80 people that you was born in 80. You would say you could say you was an 80s baby and the 80s. Absolutely, baby. MC Hammer, my favorite nigga. So and the reason why oh, I yeah. say that because being that the year that I was born, 87, I tell people I'm an 80. I was I'm seven, a- nigga. Obviously, motherfucker, 80, 8 right, plus 77. Dog. I mean, 80. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, I was wearing biker math shorts. <laughs> math is so, strong point. So, no, math is actually my strong point. I'm just Matter fact, let me just tell Chris what he's trying to say because he can't get it out. Okay. So, you a young baby. You grow up. But really, when you a child, you going, you growing through the 80s. So, you're st- you seeing the crack area. You're seeing everything. Right. You're seeing- you seeing the old school Benzes, you seeing everybody with the 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 gold ropes, you feel me? You seeing Oakland change from oh absolutely, 70s. absolutely. Right. Like, I remember Eastmont right. Mall, nigga, was everything, nigga. Bay Fair was everything, nigga. Like to the point where I walked to Eastmont Mall barefoot, nigga. Hey, she it's really a 90s kid. I'm gonna tell y'all something. The podcast is about, to go, to, it's about to go explosive. 
She was in MC Hammer's video, Help the Children. Breaking news. Breaking, Breaking news. news. She was bah, 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 bah. And even though my wife is healthy, never been We're on done. drugs. He, poor, he, uh, I he said knew poor. I needed help. He knew I needed help. If, if, if <laughs> you see MC Hammer's video, Help the Children, and when he says, Help the children on crack. Her park. Man, shut up. He her, did not say that. Her park up right in. <laughs> she can fit in right not. now. She can fit uh, right the fuck in right hey, now. She, but he did say that though. But I didn't know that at the time. She had a Freddy Cougar. <laughs> she had a Freddy Cougar shirt on. And empty oh hammer my video. God, you are so. Why would you do that? Did she uh, dress for the know. part? Today is the real question. Did she dress for the part? Anyway, I had on as and white jeans and a Freddy Krueger. I don't give a fuck. I was killing niggas. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nigga Freddy Krueger was killing niggas. Yeah, was All right. So, so for me, uh, uh, I'm 86. So when I'm coming up, you know. Okay. So when you was um, when six, I was man uh, tell his story. The East Bay Dragon. Yeah, you was already doing your thing. You already a big dog. You feel me? I'm just coming out. Little Caucasian being amazing, you know, <laughs> running around Pittsburgh, no. Midtown. So uh for me, I, I feel like I'm a 80, 80 right at the end till, but I'm a 90s kid. So I grew up with all 90s stuff. That's why we was wild as hell, you feel me? Hulk Hogan slamming Andre the Giant. Classic, WrestleMania mm -hmm. 3. You go through all the wrestling shit. So we was big into wrestling. Anybody in my childhood, they can't lie to you, bro. Wrestling was going crazy. Football was going crazy. We was going out crazy till the street lights came on. We was fist fighting. We was doing everything you would do as a as a kid. And I think we was about the last generation that really got to have that feeling where – 15 of y'all all show up at the park and it's a football game, you know? Oh, yeah. You got the bullies. You got the friends. You got motherfuckers who trying to run you over. You got we, you got we, every we, little aspect was, of life, you feel me? We was post. I mean, not post. We was pre-social media. So it was really outside all day. Right. right. That's right. why it's crazy when they talk about neighborhoods and things like that. That's when neighborhoods was really strong. Folks was really a village. Right, you had to find all the kids that lived around you, you know. Yeah, My yeah. ass would even walk all the way to fucking West Pittsburgh for the mids, you know. Walk Ooh. all the way to Walmart to go hang out with Tommy Guns, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I was a traveler, you feel me? I'm trying to go wherever it's fun, I'm there. <laughs> hey, but, oh, you know, oh, the, right, internet, oh, yeah. the internet killed, killed the, uh, the kid life. The kid, it, it killed the... The hanging around with each other because now I can be in my house on my game playing you instead of you come out of my house and say, I got next. I got yep. next. Yep. I feel like the last super uh, multiplayer game was N64. You feel me? You had the wrestling games. Everybody would get on there four sticks, and you had Goldeneye. Everybody would be Goldeneye. there. You had that. You had that. TV and y'all would be wherever you could get on. No, I job be cheap, motherfucker. He going through the pipes, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I I agree with y'all, and and I'm with you, being that I was born '87. So I tell folks I'm an '80s baby, but the '90s raised me. Um. So that being said, to to kind of piggyback on what you were saying, yeah, you know, pre pre internet, like kids was really out. We were still. In the the era where you had to be in the house before the street lights come on, you know what I mean. Now a lot of kids these days they don't even leave the house, let alone when the street lights came on. The hell, your street lights is your hallway lights. <laughs> right. <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes I just drive around and I just look at all the fucking scooters and bikes I can steal. I'm just like, yo, motherfuckers don't care. It ain't nobody walking around like back in the day. No. Hey, you know, you know what? With scooters and bikes. Everybody got that turf bike that they rode, got that shit off. If it got picked up, it was, you know, somewhere else. I had to get right. free bikes. Now I'm hearing bikes cost a thousand, two thousand dollars. I see you pay two thousand dollars for a fucking bike. I had that shit for free. Yeah. I had it for free free for two weeks. Then Moises took it. And I had to go to his house and pick up the bike. But we had a we had a community bike. We had we had, we a, had a community, community bike. bike. <laughs> we did. We, had a, we, we did. We had a community bike. neighborhood bike. Yeah. yeah, neighborhood yeah. mongoose. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. like, bro, 
bro. I'm about, to come on to your, I'm about to come to your right. house, bro. I got to use that but bike. Three I gotta motherfuckers go on. Yeah, yeah. Three people on one peg. Hey, you had you had the folks on the back of the bike. You had the folks on the handlebar. You had three folks riding on one bike. They are like, bro, let me just, all right, I'm going to jump on this handlebar, but you bet not crash. I'm like, if I crash, it's because you didn't tell me we was about to hit something. You my eyes now. <laughs> I can't see fucking wrong. Hey, shout out to everybody who got their shoelace caught up in the goddamn bike spoke and took a <laughs> real bad spill, busted that shit. That was the beginning bro. of people. In his balls in the smoke. Hey. And I, always be a, always be the fat funky motherfucker who always want to get on the front. Like, bro, I can you too oh. heavy for the handlebar. Hey. I can't fat him. <laughs> hey, the motherfuckers be creeping down. Like, hold on. Hey, yeah. hey, but then again, the motherfuckers be on your back on 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 the pegs, and you just see your tires screaming. <laughs> you like I just filled this bitch up. This motherfucker all the way low. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Hey, so hey, we 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 some real OGs though, but uh, you get the the youngster. What do you ever uh meet with your friends besides online? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. 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 Especially because most of the time I was at my house, but right next to all my homie house. So I was now I'm finna just cut and go to the apartment complex, chill it all in for like a couple hours, and roll back. We don't square. My dad out the square. How, yeah, how, how deep was y'all? How deep was y'all? How many people? Ooh, on a good day, probably like seven, maybe eight. But those like tight homies, like the ones who hung out every day at lunch and shit, and just yeah. and so just slap locked all the time. In one house, in one yeah. house or outside? Nah, they had no nah, apartment. Little, little square, square got like they all outside. So we should go over there and burn. Little square got like a little park in there for like the little kids. Didn't y'all have a so family member out. that lived in Little Square back in the day? Yeah, we did. My great grandmother used to stay in Little Square. Right, I went. I went to a barbecue over there. Yeah, my great grandmother used to stay. Man, shout out to Lido Square. Anybody from Pittsburgh, California, man, Bye. shout out to Lido Square. Um, they called me a whitehead. So, but so, I did not, baby. But but see, the thing is, it's, it's crazy that you know you don't you once you retrospect and you start looking at life, you realizing how much it changed, but you really don't notice the change all the time. As you're going through the change, you just look back and you be like, God damn, like when the fuck? Like, like for instance, we the OG now. You know what I mean? A lot of folks right. who were born in the 80s are are are, are older or consider OGs. But we're, it's like when the fuck did I become an OG? When in my life were I just got to a point? You're not there. You're not over. there. You're not there. I am when, OG. Uh, just you older than me, I am forty three. I'm forty three. You're not an OG. I you know am your OG. hair fell out. Look here. Do I'm anybody so know what? Do, does bald, anybody bro. know? Does anybody know what Loma Prieta means? Does anybody you know, know what X means? Can... Nobody on, knows what Loma Prieta means. Share, share, mm. share with the people what it That's is. That's the earthquake in 1989, nigga. All right, I was alive when that happened. Wasn't thought of. No, you you sure wasn't. That's how he got created. Yeah, little baby. It was like a, it was like a paint baby. can. You feel me? They juggled them balls. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> they got the right paint for the ugly man. He me to the top. He said, he said he shook them joints like a like a spray can. All right, you got the perfect mix. <laughs> yeah, them all the way up. Hey, but no, no, it's 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 funny how we get to the point where we are today. You know, like I said, you know, I'm I'm 35 now. You know, and I and what I I had my first OG moment where I was walking, I was walking with my wife. We was out with the kids. This is back when we had a daycare, and we took the kids to the park. We on our way leaving the park. And they had some teenagers and they was cussing the shit or whatnot. And when the one of the teenagers told the other one, all that cussing, stop cussing in front of your elders. Like I said, who the fuck you call? Who the hell you calling an elder? I, really, I, I had to think to myself, like, oh shit, I'm at that age where I am. I am cussing. Hey, y'all see that? Elders. That's great hair. All right, congratulations. I wish I had hair, man. My daughter was born in 2005. 
I was 24. I was fucking I'm 43, okay? And I just had a baby at 41. Are you fucking serious? And other in, dude. My, in mama years, <laughs> in mama years, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Cool story, roll tight, I'll shut again. Yeah, right. I love you, Bubba Sparks. <laughs> Yo, your shit is mute, bro. Every over it, oh, he bought it. He on the You're phone. muted, bro. I'm definitely no, not Bubba are... Sparks, but I'm definitely more like a. I wasn't a, talking to you. I was talking to MC Bubba. Search. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them old fans. No, you do look you like MC Search. Search. You ain't got no glasses on, though. Nigga, pop goes a weasel because the weasel say pop. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I was talking to Bubba. Was you are shit. not Bubba. Yeah, but fuck it. Uh, so so that, that, be, that being said, man, fucking what 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 else? What else y'all 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 experience coming up? Well, you know, well, told yo yo our our nineties is what yo because you was born in what ninety what. Oh four. I'm not ninety. Yeah, I mean I'm not. I said ninety. I'm sorry. You was born in 04. Shit. So yo fucking. I was a junior. Damn. When was born. Damn. Yeah. So yeah, me, yeah, I was, me and Avery, me and Avery, the exact same age apart that uh, me and his son are. The exact oh, same man. age. Yeah. I was like, so damn, what? bro, you went hella long. <laughs> So what you was what seventeen when when his son was born? Oh no, you was eighteen. Nah, I was eighteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was eighteen, was 18. When I was born too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. He was yeah, cause he had a year older than me. But uh, but yeah, yeah like he, so, his birthday number. Yeah, damn, that's crazy. Ten, that's how how history repeats itself. Shit, I feel yeah. old just thinking about that shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You get there. Don't worry, shit. You you about to be nineteen now. You gonna turn around and your ass gonna be twenty five like that. That shit gonna come quick, bro. Bro, facts. That shit gonna come quick. Like I felt no. like thirteen, like sixteen took the longest amount of time, but sixteen to eighteen went whew, hella quick. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? See, my I'll... thing was when I when I turned eighteen, that eighteen to twenty one felt like a decade for me. Those three years took fuck because I want to be 21 so quick and I had my 21st birthday at Avery's apartment, Avery and Tia's apartment. And mm. I was fucking shit. Yeah, well, we going to Vegas for mine, so you down? I can't, bro. Well, when? <laughs> that weekend is my daughter's birthday. birthday. Oh, you said you're 21st. Oh, we'll see. Well, we'll hey, if I keep it a buck, bro, I always hung out with Older motherfuckers half the time once I turned to a certain age. So right. for me, man, I was always maxing out. That. And I'm not bragging, but you feel me? I did a lot of things that was not responsible. You know what I mean? But, but, so but, never but, do that. but that's the shit you do in the 20s, man. That's that's when you look you young, wild, and free. You fuck up on purpose, or you might fuck right. up on that right. shit, but you could say you live, you experience. That, yeah, that's, I crashed that's cars, I did you feel me. Been that on trial did. for court cases. I did it all, baby. I yeah, I, I, I lived a life man, that crazy the some days I uh think back and I just pray like I got like God was watching my back, or else I would have been 23 and one, and I'm over here doing a fucking podcast with y'all talking about how I can make fucking the best noodles in the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta cut up all, this, you gotta all, add all, this to all, all your top spreads. Right, and I probably couldn't do the podcast because they're gonna be like, "Yo, white ass can't not congregate <laughs> with your two lifelong best friends," and that's the crazy part with me. So that's why I say, "Hey, get your life together." Live, a or you ain't gonna have a wife together. Look, huh? look, 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 live, live a little. I, I tell all the young folks, live a little. Get that shit out your system. Experience life. Fuck ups. Get, up? Go get a. Hey, Go through your fuck ups at a young age, cause when you fuck up when you're older, the fuck ups hit a lot harder. Bro, don't don't live a little, <laughs> save a little. That's what you need to fucking do right now. Right, that too. You need to save a little right. so you won't you be in your thirty fucking broke. Yeah, man, there's that. 
Yeah, come up with a game plan. Like I'm about to go to vacation. Don't go out every weekend club hopping, trying to uh, hop on a little bop here, a little bop there. You feel me? Because everywhere they're going to take a bop, bop out your paycheck. You feel me? And then <laughs> when you're trying to do some big shit, you're going to be like, fuck, I don't waste it this much at the club, this much, this much, you know, and it gets to a cycle. You feel me? You want to be able to use your mind, create a plan, focus, and, and go get it. Yeah, that motherfucker. Hey, that's, yeah. that's real. That's it's a free game to you. If you want to save $1,000 a year, put $20 away each week. That'll get you $1,000 a year. Yep. Send it to me, and I will triple, double, and quadruple it. Follow me at Avery Monroe on Cash App. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Don't send it to me. I promise you. <laughs> the terms are that guaranteed. That motherfucker is scared. Hey, Thank he, you. hey, you give it to him. Hey, it works, no. so shit. Hey, I promise you give it to him and he'll lose that shit week three when he bail the bucks. Exactly. Hey, Ain't no ROI hey, if you give money to Avery. First of all, no. Hey, real quick, Marty gave me money to bet on the Super Bowl because he knew I would hit. And what happened, Marty? We hit. We God hit. Damn right. Trust Avery. I <laughs> got you, baby. We will triple, quadruple, motherfucker. We'll make I'll make you so much money, baby. Hey, but on the on flip Eagles side, on a, on a flip side, I gave him three bets. He hit on one, so you you might fuck hey. up. <laughs> but I didn't take your money for the other ones. <laughs> I pick hey. and choose, and I give you the best advice possible, baby. Pick Avery, you will blow up. <laughs> hey, the house always wins, bro. The house always wins. The house always wins. I mean, I'm yeah, getting big. I, I don't call myself the house, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Duplex. <laughs> hey, I see what you did there, Avery. Hey, you sick motherfucker. I see what you did there. He said I'm getting big, but I wouldn't call myself a house. I saw I, I get I, I picked up the wordplay. I'm a little real estate agent, you feel me? I assess value and give you a right projection. You feel me? Go ahead and give me some money. And I can get the job done, baby. That, that shit sound like a scam. I also do it for fantasy football. If you need some advice, holler at me. Ask these guys. I've been taxing that ass for years. <laughs> bro, you came in third to last this season, bro. I also had a son. You feel me? So I had to start oh, putting okay. the knowledge in his head. Oh. What's the best rookie? You feel me? Get Bryce. You feel me? I let him pick. I thought my son was going to be crushing it first year. He just picked random people. It didn't work out. I thought he was a prodigy. Whatever. You got to trust. He already blamed shot his son. His son not even won yet. Cold blooded. Third How third. old are you? Eighteen, pussy. And you, my fucking son. <laughs> Couldn't. Have a, you live in my house. Nope. You don't pay no rent. You my boy. That's all you. I told you I would pay rent, pussy. <laughs> hey. Hey son. Oh, yeah. Hey son, go get the trash can, son. Don't ever talk to Papa like that. And what I do? <laughs> you go get them motherfucking trash cans, don't you? Nope, show don't. Y'all motherfuckers is crazy. <laughs> he said you live in my house, you don't pay rent. You <laughs> Right. Hey. Hey, but I Bro. hey, I don't be getting that nephew like that because I know he offered that shit. You over there trying to be. Oh, my man. Hey, what I what I look at for my family, my nephews, or anybody who need it that I really love. You feel oh, me? y'all got me a fucking. Hey, dear. come come stay with me, bro. I want you to build yourself up, build your wealth up. You feel me? All right. Absolutely. And then when you're capable, go move out and do what you need to do. You feel me? I right. I wish when I was his age, somebody did that for me. So that was something I made sure that I always looked out for my. Young ones with you feel me? Oh yeah. Come, you, you, you give get them a, a bag, a stack of your bread. Yeah. So you're not out there like like we was. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. We, we, you straight we, into you straight into a lease. You barely you barely made the down payment, and it was three hundred dollars. And now you're supposed to pay your rent. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. That's another thing. Let's let's go ahead and talk about that real quick. These goddamn. Deposits that these homes want nowadays living Crazy. out here in California is ridiculous. First I'm really thinking about party. being a squatter, bro. You? Yeah, I might just <laughs> run up in your shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Two years at a pop. 
Yeah. Police says, can't do right. shit. Sticking and moving, huh? Right. You feel me? I'm over here. I'm over there. You feel me? You don't know where I'm at. That motherfucker gonna be paying rent free for for about a nickel. Nickel. White lightning. Flat. Yeah. Boom. I'm in your shit. He goes flat. Get me somebody else shit. Yeah. He said, "How long you been doing? How long you been squatting? No, I'm on 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 year five right now. Ain't paid a dime in rent. <laughs> right. I don't squat. I take over. You know what I mean? <laughs> I give your house back. You ain't got <laughs> shit to do with my house. Right? Hey. So uh, hey, told right? You don't. You don't got your own shit, right? No. All right. So what you do, you working all right? Yeah. All right. So what you do is you ask your you ask your uncle Avery how much he paid for rent, right? Mm-hmm. That rent money that he paid for, you say that one check every month. Yeah. At the end of the year, you see how much Damn. money your fucking uncle wasted. Facts. <laughs> you gotta provide for your family, man. At the end of yeah, the you day, gotta provide, I'm a I'm... good man. I'm a good fucking man. Fuck you, Marty. <laughs> You're fucking trying to take down the hard working white man with your suppression. <laughs> you don't want me to be successful. Fuck you. You've always hated me. You always called me Garth Brooks. You always said I was a country superstar. No, 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 never no. Make it, it. It, ain't, it ain't that. It's just like I've, I've been I've been staying with mom. I stay with auntie dirt cheap for free, all that shit. What does I that sound for, like? I, your favorite I, I, rapper, I, doesn't it? No, it, hear me out. Not a country superstar like Garth Brooks. Oh, I'm a fucking country superstar. But uh, I pay rent $14.25, $14.15. When you, when you add that shit up, that I shit is $17,000 17, a year gone. Mm-hmm. Ooh, preach on it. I've been work. I've been having this spot for four years, but I've been working for damn near 25 plus, and I never in my life Say that seventeen thousand dollars a year. Hey, when I had free rent, I didn't save seventeen thousand a year, but I could have. You feel me? Yeah, and that's the whole point. You feel me? So for him so to to realize, and I appreciate you breaking that down to him that you have an opportunity right now to change your life for the future. You feel me? And I know it's not funny or whatever, but hey, when you here, get as much money as you can. So when you do go out by yourself. You got a down payment on the house. You can go somewhere, wherever you want to live. You feel me? California, crazy expensive. But if you say, fuck it, I'm going over here, that money going to stretch. And it's going to stretch a long way. Yeah, so I just think, if you do 20 a week, you got got a rack to to do whatever with. You can put that rack on Hawaii. Put that rack on stocks. You can put that rack on real estate. But you got a rack, you know, just to fall back on. Do not fall into his advice. This is not true advice. This is a man who's just giving general thoughts about stocks and trades. These are not financial advisors telling you what to do with your money. Yeah, because you can put your thousand dollars in stocks and lose all that shit. So good. Hey, you can put it in pussy. (laughs) Have one good night, right? (laughs) Was it worth it? For the night it was, but the morning after you sit. Right. Now you down. Unless unless but, unless unless you record it, then you can then you can rewind it. <laughs> hey, it's just you like said, big ma- right? mask it. You said just over the mask and your success, huh? Yeah, stroke by stroke. <laughs> How you think Tom Brady on him felt investing in that crypto shit? They jacked him for all their money, you feel me? I bet he wish he would have got some oh, pussy God. instead of nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Allegedly, I heard. At uh, least fuck me. At least allegedly. fuck me before you take everything. Allegedly, Please. I heard of Curry and uh, Please, Shaq got involved give me a little bit of something. Oh shit! He took the money and said, uh, "I'm gonna fucking hijack the Super Bowl while I'm in jail, watching it on a cell phone." This boy don't give a fuck. What? Yeah, that brother said, "At least fuck me before you take my money." <laughs> Right, and Tom needed it at that time. <laughs> Tom needed yeah. it. I was gone. Yeah, he was hurting. He was hurting for certain. Right, and he could have just got a little of that sweet, sweet crypto. <laughs> <laughs> That's that light coin. Lighting his ass yeah. up all night, you feel me? But at the end of the day, he lost it all. So just remember, don't invest with Marty George. 
Yeah, just do, uh, watch what I do. Don't do what I do. The easiest investment is invest in shit that's never going to collapse. You like Nikes, right? Yeah. I got two yep. people in here invest who in love Nikes their whole life who didn't say anything. Because, yeah, because they said, yeah. don't want to see him race it. No, no. I was always told it. I was and what told does that, Akon say? That, that it, it invest, invest in the shit that you buy. The shit that you like, put the money back into that. You got iPhones, invest in Apple. You like Nikes, invest in fucking those. Right. You like fucking whatever it is. Invest in the shit that my you first buy. Investment, my first investment in Coca-Cola, I was playing Grand Theft Auto when some German uh-huh. motherfuckers were on there. And they talking oh. shit. And he's like, I'm a fat American. I love Coca-Cola. And <laughs> I was fat. I was American. And I did drink a lot of Coca-Cola. And it gave me an epiphany. I said, shit, this motherfucker on or something. Started buying some stock in Coca-Cola, baby, you feel me? Because he knew my fat ass was drinking it. And he all the way in fucking Germany. Right. <laughs> so they know where to put the money at. Yeah, damn. He said I was fat. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's, that's hey. Right, he called the- me out. And, and it was random as shit, you feel me? Yeah. Random server, a German, and his clown was. I'm a fat American. I love Coca Cola, and I was just. It hit. He me. said, "You." He said, "You got a point." But little did you know, I'm about to flip that shit. It took me a while. Though. It took me about six months. I was thinking about that. Too, right. to work. I'm like, bro, I'm doc- I'm drinking Dr Pepper. You feel me? Fuck right, me. right. Facts. Diet Coke, bitch. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Coke is Coke. Coke. Hey, yeah, they all come from one big brand. Yeah. So, uh, Toad, how do you feel about having yeah. toes as fingers? Oh my fucking god, bro! So, uh, fuck you. I had a realization the other day. We was riding together, and I looked at this man's hands, and he has big toes as fingers. Do you mind showing the uh, camera the evidence? Yes, 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 I do mind. Yes. Let's just get I'm it out. Let's just get it out. So Let's yes, just I'm get it out and over. No, I'm not getting paid for this, so no show. I'll give you three <laughs> seventy five and a cheeseburger from McDonald's, extra bacon and onions. <laughs> hold them, hold them close and good. focus them in. Do your thumb, because your thumb is the real one. What what am I looking at here? Big toe. So his so his thumb I don't know. looks like a big toe. If he lets it sit and focus in, <laughs> he has what I would call toe fingers. Now he's the first man I've exposed about this. Um, I love him. You know what I'm saying? He's my guy. But I just want to know if anybody else in the world has toes for fingers that haven't been surgically replaced. But he got like a little big toe just out there doing shit. Like it's a thumb. It's hitchhiking with a big toe. Jordan, can you can you show us one time? <laughs> bro, we need, it, we need bro. it for context. We need it for context. Just hold it. Don't that look like a big toe right there? Look at that motherfucker. Now I'm gonna need my I'm gonna need my bacon cheeseburger from McDonald's yeah. now, bro. Now did you see that little toe that he has? Yeah. He touched me the other day and it freaked me the fuck out. <laughs> I was tripping. I was like, holy fucking shit. Did he just put his feet on me? <laughs> I thought it was a disrespect thing. Like he was just gonna rub his toes on me. <clears throat> then I realized all his fingers look like fucking toes. He has a toe hand. So I was like, were your parents calling you toes or toad? Or maybe and I they believe was, maybe they were calling him toes, but it came out as toad and it just stuck with it. Right. Fuck or he just up. he's just like <laughs> a weird toe hand. I mean, if you look at these things, these are fucking wild. We'll put it in the uh, description because these motherfuckers no, will make you think about life. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm putting it out now so he can get over it at, at a young age because you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Try to put, 
you put one of them toe fingers on a lady, and ain't going over well. She's gonna be like, "Did you fucking put your middle toe in my whoop whoop whoop?" You're gonna be like, "I got angles with it," you know. He said she got a little curve to it. Right. I, 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 I think we had grossed our listeners out a little too much with the toe conversation, so we got going on with sex. Oh yeah, Bye. my bad. Sorry. I, I, <laughs> I had seen it and it was just mind blowing to me that somebody has <laughs> fingers that are toes. I mean, fucking God, you are a crazy guy, buddy. <laughs> you are Man, freaking right, so, crazy. So, so the next topic that that <laughs> God damn, I forget. I got tears in my eyes. So the next topic that I was going to bring up was: Have you ever been caught? Rubbing one out. No, I, I lock doors. And... <laughs> hey, let's be honest. The only two people who know this answer is Chris and Marty because they the ones that I ain't never been caught next to each other. I ain't never. Hey, I ain't never been caught. I'll tell you one thing. Going to their house, they did do little Sorry, porno parties where they be having them motherfuckers out. Wow. Invite some guys over and be like, "You seen Big Booty Janika?" And then we all be in the fucking living room, be like, "Oh God, that's a good one." Marty, can you burn that? <laughs> hey, I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. What he's saying is half true, half and half false. It wasn't Boy Jamaica. Only time people came over to my house when I had the internet to watch R. Kelly tape. That's the only time people showed up. Like it's real. Like yeah, I got. Hey, bro, uh, that's all alleged. I don't think we could talk about that. Uh, even though we were all under ye- age, but uh, yeah, that's a, that's like evidence in a court case, brother. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. No, it's allegedly. definitely evidence in a court case, but allegedly you saw that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think I, that motherfucker locked up for a long time for that. I, tape. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know if it was him, but it was called the R. Kelly tape. That shit was all him. right. So that, that even brings up a better topic: sex tapes. Of the nineties, what was your shit? The Playboys that came out, the the Paris Hiltons, the I mean, those are a little Paris bit later, but you feel me? Or 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 kind of like or or maturity ages, you feel me? From junior high to you feel me? Twenty one. Hey, I ain't what gonna was lie. You, know, hey, hey, you, hey, you feel me? There was hey, a bunch of them. You know what my sex tape was? Huh. My sex tapes was fucking the movie channel that. The fucking screen was looking like a wave, and right. you hear what's going on because we didn't have a channel. It was back right. in the days in the nineties. If you didn't have the channel, you still could hear what's going on. You just didn't have the picture on. So I'm fucking over here watching that shit on low, and as soon as I hear my parents walk through the door, I'm hitting that flash you- button. I'm in that last button, and I'm watching Cartoon Network. <laughs> Dick hard than a bitch though, hoping that he'll look at his ass. Hey, hey, Dick hey! Going crazy. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, under the blanket, like fuck it, I was almost there. Up, oh, hey, under the blanket with a full tent. He been watching titties and night vision with for the last five tent. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Put it on thermo." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 that's what, what it really was, bro. They was, was testing the technology out back then for the fucking yeah, business. Hey, it was. They said, if I could see this motherfucker for the past, hey, you know what I broke it, though? Hey, I, I, had, I, had a, I had a friend of mine who used to do that. He used to watch that, and he got caught because he was, like, going to his parents' room, and he'll watch it. But, you know, back in the days, you had that, that last channel button mm-hmm. you can put to watch. You on one channel, you put to one button. And I put put it back to the previous channel. Right. They yeah. Still got to say that. That. Yeah. Got yeah. To say well, that. I put it back to Cartoon Network, and they think, "Oh, oh, you over here watching, uh, goddamn Ed, 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 and Yeah, but yeah. when they when, when they left, when, when the parents left the house, they knew what the channel was in the previous channel. Oh. All right. All right. So we all parents now. You putting in that work? Where you gonna yeah, know the channel? And the other channel, you going to remember no. that shit? Well, I, 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 I don't think I'm ever going to remember that shit. Well, now, yeah. nowadays, we, we, it's new age. It ain't even no channel now. It's, it's, it's the history, internet. <laughs> Check its history. 
Yeah, right. That's but true. I think I'm just gonna let my uh kid just jack off. He wanna jack off. Like, what the fuck, like, bro? If it's that time, it's that time. I don't want to see your history, dog. Just yeah. be respectful <laughs> about the shit. Clear it up. Don't let your mama find it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a father. I know what you're going through. You know what I mean? But be a gentleman at the yeah. end of the day. Just be yeah. a fucking gentleman. I don't want to come in the house. You in the living room, fucking butt ass naked. You got the baby oil. I was like, come on, dog. You, now but, you just scarred me. They did the whole room for that shit. Hey, but I, right. you, you might want to know what the type. You, you like BBW ginger? I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, that, that, I, mean, that. I mean, that's that. That's that. When you grab his fucking iPhone or his iPad, you see some shit. You don't just bust it out like seeing that ginger down the street. What you think about her? You know, what I'm saying you over there giving him hints and shit. You know, I'm gonna go cut the grass over there. I seen a little, a little thick thing. <laughs> oh, you like that? Uh, double gang bang. What's up with your buddy down the street? You, you, like, come on, bro. What, what kind of advice can you give him, bro? It's just like let him do him and figure it out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. He'll 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 figure it out for sure. It's just right. The, you don't want to be the weird dad. You feel me? You give him some see, encouragement. But, but see, but that's just it. Like you know what I mean. You got a son. I got two girls. I'm not trying to. I mean, I obviously I got to parent him and 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 keep an eye on him because I got two 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 young princesses. I don't want them to get taken advantage of or whatnot. Obviously, right, but. Right. It's just to knowing that my girls, my baby girls, are going to grow up to a day and they're going to meet men and they're going to. I, like if, I want, if, 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 if I if I want grandkids, they got to do. They got to do. It is what it is. Uh, stop talking, yeah. About shit, brother. Yeah, that shit is tough. No, as, as no. a father, that's all of them is never having a boyfriend. I'm making sure of that. Hey, I appreciate. Well, uh, don't expose the name, but anyways, uh, you fucking goof. Oh, hey, be real, just. Put that safe search on your kid's phone so they won't have to go through this. So, yeah. right, here goes, here goes a good scenario, right? That's easy 2003, to you're a father, right? You got your two girls, right? She has been watching fucking BT Uncut for the last seven weeks in a row. What do you say? Go ahead, Chris. You the daddy with the girls. Oh, so, your, it, it, so so she been watching BET cut, Uncut on a late night. Good. Well, I mean, the BET Uncut wasn't really showing nothing too many. You weren't seeing no nudity or nothing. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's stop there. How many times, y'all? Did anybody whack off to that? No. No. No, BET Uncut didn't have that, that kind of quality for me to, to I'll roll I'll volunteer. I'll volunteer. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I you, thought I thought it was I thought it was a group thing. No, I thought no. Everybody, I thought everybody did. So you, you the long wolf on that one. You didn't wake up at three in the morning and see ass shaking all over it. Oh TV. no, I didn't say I did. I didn't say I didn't see that. I'm just saying I didn't because you got to think. I think you're a lying son of a bitch. And if I put you on the lie detector on the next episode and we ran through, would you pass? No, nah, I probably wouldn't. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, yeah, back then I might I have. I don't call. I mean, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna confirm nor deny that. All I'm gonna say is, at the oh, end me. of BET, oh no, hear me out. At because BET uncut, if we, everybody that knew, they knew they say they last the videos that they always wanted to see, like the tip drills and the and ludicrous pee pop and all that. Those videos was last on the thing. So for the ones who was rubbing one out to BET uncut. And right after BT, I appreciate y'all, man. We was right in the same boat, bro. So, so as soon as BT cut uncut goes off four in the morning, now you got some random guy preaching about God. You got shit in your head. You got a toilet paper full of fucking. And it was a plan. You feel me? <laughs> it wasn't the plan. They had a plan to to shame you after you got done. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever had exactly. that TV programming, that, they set it up point. perfect. You feel me? That's They're like, my we point. Put all the ass on TV for free. Yes. And then you're going to be like, oh, God, I hope nobody sees me. You walk in the room, Jesus God saw. God, God, saw <laughs> God saw that whole session. God saw you. Repent, yes. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, but we, yeah. but uh, like you said, coming in nineties, bro, we didn't really have the sex tapes. We had the, we had the, we were the first person to 
generation for the Photoshop. Like you thought you seen some real tits, and they wasn't no real tits. Oh, right, for sure. So they never, would, never, like, it never happened like that. So like, bro, they are real. I found them on the internet. Like, oh, you did? Let me go check. Oh, you got Beyonce. You got this person. You got that yeah. person going in there. Allegedly, back in the day, it was like Jennifer Love Hewitt. It wasn't even no Beyonce. It was like Jennifer Love no, Hewitt. No, I remember looking at a Beyonce in your motherfucking middle. No. Middle no, we room didn't. at uh, your they, mama's they, house. They, they, no, they had a Beyonce she photo. She was a Destiny child. And I, I went remember in there. That one. They had a Beyonce Photoshop one. Hey, do you remember the one that Marty had back in the day where he did some kind of computer code and he like went down hella far and it was like somebody doodle in somebody's somebody mouth? You don't remember that one? Nah, first of all, you, you're, you're sick for even remembering that, for starters. He, he the one that fucked my head up. That's why I started hanging out. So I started hanging out with y'all. I thought y'all had all kind of access to all kind of weird shit. But he had some shit where he did a code. It was like in, it was like in Word, and you would go down. You feel me? It would be like one line, one line, one line, one line. It ended up being like a, a lady taking a doodle in a lady mouth, bro. Y'all yeah. don't remember that. Marty, yeah. you don't remember that. I know Marty remember. He just don't want to admit it. Uh, you know, no, no, I know, I know what you're talking about. Exactly, because he knew the fucking code. He one, thought it was up, down, up, down, left, right. You feel me? It wasn't work. no code, but it was a video like that, too. He talking about the two girls in one cup shit? No, nah, it was before that. It was before way that. I never before. saw that one. I, 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 I still never saw that. That's motherfucker. Like, this man, was, what, hey, this is the two cup was hella nasty, but it wasn't no nasty. That one you talking about wasn't that nasty. No. Chris used to be in a room with us hanging out, but he was always scary, so he probably didn't even look at it. He was like, I can't see this. Titties? Oh my no, god! No, no, no. That's one thing I was not afraid to look at. Fucking uh, but no, uh, that that two girls one cup shit. I I never could watch that. People like, man, you should check it out. Why would y'all? Why would you promote that shit? That's yeah, yeah. Thing. Once I found out what, what was doing, I never, I never seen that video when I found out about it. And I, I said, what is it? Two girls in one cup. You know, thinking about the cup, like they drinking, uh, taking shots. Yeah, they are know. taking shots of doo doo and ain't <laughs> I and never, I, I never seen it either. But there's other ones that's hella nasty like that. You ever seen a uh, lemon party? No, fuck you. That's some like gay dude shit I heard on the podcast, and then they had uh, Mr. Hands. You ever heard about that one? No, hell no. These are all legendary internet videos, and if y'all really want to be on some weird creep shit, check them out, man. I know How our about- fans are a little bit of this and a little bit of that, so you'll find a bunch of fun when you look at these things. Yeah, but uh, man. it's about a dude who went to Seattle, right? Mm-hmm. And then he got that horse wang in him, dude trying oh. to hold it back. Bam, killed his ass. Too much horse in him. <laughs> this is- hey, and this is the crazy internet we grew up on, bro. Back in the day, the internet was really oh, when the internet, bro, bro. bro. When the internet first came out, dude, it was reckless, bro. Bro, you now you'd be like, oh, I gotta make sure I don't say, uh, I don't want to say because I don't want to get canceled, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So back then, they'll have fucking every fucking crazy thing you could think of dudes chopping off their wangers, people getting their heads cut off. It oh, was yeah. just like, you definitely wanted to keep your kids away from the internet, but oh, obviously, back then, I'm, dude, shit was so unfiltered when we was kids, dude. That's why it's like the shit that goes on now. It's I mean, granted, there's a lot of shit that goes on today that's pretty shameful. Uh but man, I be thinking about how the hell did we survive through all that damn madness? Because, like you said, they had shit on live where you seen people being head right. rolling. They gone. Like People love wrestling now, right? But it's like a woman, woman, woman's movement. But back in our day, you feel me? It was brawling panties matches. We see a yeah. titty. You feel me? You would be, you would love Show wrestling. Me the puppy and that shit was wow. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine your son watching that or your daughter? The, your daughter the, loved wrestling. Next thing you know, so, uh, her favorite wrestler, butt booty naked on the fucking thing, crawling around trying to kiss Vince McMahon ass. Like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is y'all thinking? What? This is supposed to be a kid show. Yeah, yeah. Wrestling was a, what back then. That attitude era was that was an era to remember. That's for damn sure. It, it'll yeah. never be nothing like when we grew no, up. That's the crazy part because you had not. you had Jerry's Jerry Springer. You come yep. home, it's 
It's a lady with 27 F titties smashing soda cans and watermelons with them motherfuckers. You're like, what is going on? Then you got two motherfuckers fighting. You know what I'm saying? It, it was just a whole different experience that, of was. what you saw and what you did. You know, it was it skateboarding. Was. It was fun. Everything was just, you know, it was, it was the last... I would say generation before they got the reins in and was like, let, let us it was, control it, it was, a little bit it more. Was, it was exactly. It was the last generation before shit just got overly censored, overly sensitive. And and now, hell, you can't even say, you can't say shit nowadays without somebody getting offended, somebody being sensitive by it, somebody trying to change your way of thought because they want you to think like them. The Today's society is is... Is man, it, it, it it's really scary because you know we still young enough to kind of keep up, but but I worry about the OGs that are in front of us because with this gender fluid and all the all the stuff where they probably never heard of this shit in their life ever, you know, mm -hmm. and they like what's what's up, Ed? I'm not Ed no more. I'm, I'm yeah. gender fluid. I'm a, I'm I'm Edwina or whatever. Yeah, I'm Ellen. Ellen. Right, you know. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean that. But now he in HR. Now he facing like you feel. Oh like he's yeah, he's 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 there to liable for termination because he called Ellen Ed. Like, hold on, bro, you was Ed fucking last month. Right, you like, was Ed for the last ten years, bro. We yeah. been off, and I I met your wife. You hear me? You know what I mean. And like, now, I, me they switched it up. I, I so I, so so kind of on that topic. How do you feel about the sports genre? from high school to college and everything like that and how they deal with that those kind of situations. You said you said the the sports draw hold on man we we this yeah oh yo no get back on he clicked the link yeah so so I'm saying when you uh you got two daughters, right? Yeah. Your daughter is the best sprinter ever since she's been eight, right? She mm -hmm. wins all the goals, she's doing her thing, she's on the way to the Olympics. You feel me? Right, right. She doing everything right. Mm -hmm. Then she gets to college, and it's a dude who like or not a dude, whatever he, oh, he decides to be. A he's gender fluid. A, a transgender. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's, he's gender fluid. Woman. No, he, 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 he gender fluid. So that day he decided he was a lady to run. Tomorrow he's a man again. You feel me? Because that's how they do it, right? They can right. just pick and choose. Mm -hmm. So he smoked your daughter, right? Her whole life dreams, everything that she worked hard for her whole life. Some dude came in who was hundred percent male, right? Got, probably got the same, got this, got got right. the, the male DNA, the male strength, and everything. And you over here trying to compete in a woman's, yeah, I don't right. know. 150, 150 best in the male category. No, right. none was happening. And, and then he said, "You know what? What I could do is I could flip this whole thing, switch it up, and go do this." Mm -hmm. Burn all the ladies, right? Smoke me, them all. Me, me personally, I don't like it because it's still fair. Yeah, you could be considered a woman, but you becoming a woman doesn't take away the, the your your male chromosomes and everything. You're still right. Your DNA of being a man. Yeah, you're you're still strong as hell compared to these women, and you are, and they're already at a disadvantage just just based off that alone. So, why would you like, like I said, for the people? But before I even go any further, I don't discriminate to nobody. Live your life. That's why I say live your life because at the end of the day, it's your life. So, yeah, do what real. makes you happy, do what makes you feel comfortable, and and it makes you have love because that comes first. Self care is fucking critical. That this being is said, all about what's fair, you feel me. It and that's what I was getting at. Like, like for me, I, I, I would feel like they gotta do another. Uh, you feel me? You got the male, you got the female, and then you could 
you could do the trend. Yeah, do another bracket. Yeah. Do that. Like, I'm, not, I'm not hating or nothing, but like everybody got to be on a fair thing. You feel me? That's the, that's the whole reason why they have male and female. So if you going yeah. if you want to be transgender or whatever you want to do, then compete with the people who are who are doing that. You feel me? And it's not it's not hating, but it's just like. You don't want to make somebody who worked their whole life or something. You you don't want to take that from take that from. It. And the same same with MMA or anything else. You feel me? Like I see uh, these dudes. Yeah, we must get off anyway. These dudes beat the fuck out of a lady. You feel me? And it just be like, bro, come on, bro. Right, right. And it's and and that's and you know what? And you put it into that point, and then we could wrap it up on this point. Right. It's um. It's the it's the one where. That makes perfect sense. You know, if you want to have your male division, your female division, and then your transgenders, because let's, if you're going to make it an even playing field, make it an even playing field for all. Right. For all. Well, they worried about discrimination, but what, what's less discriminating than having your own division? You feel me? Like, whatever you want to do, you feel me? You right. Be like, do you want to be included? Okay, let's include you. Right. And then, but yeah. but you shouldn't be able to go, you feel me, dominate females on some shit and, and take their scholarships and take this yeah. and that. And college is hella proactive on this shit. So I, I'm surprised that they haven't already done this. You know right, I mean? right. So so and then and that's just my opinion on that. I mean, and, and that's a that's that's another topic that we could get into. Um, like I said, I'm I'm far, I don't have a homophobic bone in my body. Um, you, I don't give a damn what you are, as long as you come at me with respect, I'm gonna give you the same thing in return, regardless of your fucking religion, sexual preference, you know what I mean, whatever pronoun you want to be dis- or that described as. I get all right. that. Well, yeah, I, got a little, I got little cousins that want to be different names and this and that. And it's like whatever makes you happy and makes you feel whole right, at the right. end of the day, where you feeling like you being heard or whatever, like whatever empowers you, that's what we want to do. But like right. I was just thinking like collegiate sports, bro. Like you gotta have a a, a boundary to where everybody has a fair thing. You feel me? Like whatever you mm-hmm. wanna do, do your thing, but don't crush somebody's dreams because you've been fucking seven hundred pounds, you a big ass bodybuilder and right. it, you right. gonna do the Olympic weight challenge with the ladies? Like, come on, bro. Yeah, you know what you did. I yeah, gotta go get out of here. Yeah, bro. Like, come on. Yeah. Let, let the like, 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 Tupac said it best on changes when he was talking about how dude said, "Uh, I made a, I made a G today." He said, "You made it in a sleazy way. You selling crack to the kids? I gotta get paid." Hey, that's the way it is. Hey, and, and that's nothing more true than that right you know what i mean and that's the same thing and that's the analogy that i could use for for this like yeah you okay yeah you won gold medal but look at at the cost look at what cost it you had to go through and you did to get that gold medal like bro you you got your gold medal in a sleazy way say and 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 i said what i said and i and i stand on my word that's not like if that makes you happy, then oh, what it is, what it is. But that's I can't, I can't rock with that. Right, it's not a diss. It's just like, bro, give them a division, bro. Yeah, that's, how it is. that's update, all. Update the shit. You feel me? If if that's what where the world is going, then we gotta update our standards. We gotta update everything. You feel me? If everybody wanna be included, then then you get included in your own thing. Mm-hmm. But you can't just go dominate some shit just because. You know, and just because you know you can, like right. Nah. You, know, you don't want to nah. be the number one uh sprinter in the school, but you really number seven, but you just burnt all the girls, bro. Right. Like, we've been playing freeze tag. We, you knew they wasn't gonna catch your ass. Exactly. Exactly. So simple simple math. Uh we love y'all though. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for all the listeners. We might as well go ahead and wrap in the books and and this is a topic that we could get into in another episode we got other episodes that right and if there's <laughs> any uh transgenders or anybody who want to come talk to us i would we would love to hear your opinion yeah also, damn, leave 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 a comment leave us comments on the page and tap right. in with us we look at all that shit we read that shit we have no problem having an open discussion because we're open-minded people 
Um, right. Change my mind because I'm open minded. But I mean, it's it's not even about changing mind. It's just if I'm speaking out of ignorance because I'm not understanding. Then help me understand. You know, I'm probably still gonna stand on my word. I'm gonna still stand on my beliefs. But help me understand your point of view. That's all. That's right. all I'm saying. You drop that we, knowledge bomb on us. We 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 could agree to disagree and still at the same time. And that's where a lot of people have their faults at because they feel if you don't believe what they believe, then you don't know what you're talking about or you're a hypocrite or you're discriminating. Like, nah, bro, it's none of that. I just don't agree with you what you're saying on. I'm not saying you're you're wrong for your beliefs. I just don't fuck with it. Hey, trust me, growing up as a wigger back in the day, you would get a lot of hate. Bro. You would get a lot of hate. So you so I've I'm, I'm always been in that, that position where everybody wanna judge you. You don't belong, you know what I mean? But yeah. at the end of the day, if that's who you really are, it don't matter because that's where you're gonna be. Stand on your truth. That's all we're gonna say. We're gonna end right. it on that note. All right, case is amazing. I love myself. <laughs> In the music that I make, now listen to the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now listen to the difference.